That's almost 90 miles of range in 30 miles. Are you serious? That's nuts. <laughs> what a joke. Welcome to Hoobie's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube. And this is my new 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning Electric pickup truck. And it is towing my new 1930 Ford Model A pickup truck that I bought for my show Car Issues on Motor Trend. Now, I towed with the Model A today uh, quite a distance, and it was a complete and total disaster from beginning to end, starting with having to film this video out of order because it was raining so hard. So I already know what's happened, but Fast Hoovy is in for a huge surprise when it comes to towing with this electric Ford Lightning. So let's start with the specs. This is the standard range battery Lariat. So it is the luxury model, but the smaller battery, which means a max range of 230 miles, a max tow capacity of 7,700 pounds. If you got the big range battery, your tow capacity goes up to 10,000 pounds, which is very, very impressive, but you have to deal with the range. Now my plan was to make two trips up today to see the car wizard down and back, down and back. It's about 32 miles each way. So that's about 64 times two, 128 miles round trip. I had this thing charged to just over 200 miles when I started my day. So ample margin for error when it comes to range and towing. And also considering the fact that the trailer was going up empty two times. The trailer is aluminum. It's only 1400 pounds and it was coming back with two vehicles, the Model A being one of them. The other one was going to be a much bigger challenge, testing the max of its tow capacity, but it wasn't even worth trying. So let's go back to our younger, but equally handsome, but blissfully ignorant Hoovy as he set off on his journey. Well, we're not off to the best start because I've already lost three miles of range, just loading up the trailer and pulling out of my neighborhood, which uh, I mean, maybe a quarter of a mile. Hopefully that's not how it is for the rest of this trip, but this trailer, like I said, it's aluminum, less than 1,500 pounds. This truck shouldn't even feel it. I mean, <laughs> the acceleration is ridiculous. And that's the only time I'm going to do that because I want to save the range, but also if I strap something down and floor it like that, it will most definitely fly off. The torque is just unreal, but we're going to conserve it because yeah, now it's 195 and we haven't got a mile yet. Well, I am not very optimistic here because we have already used 20 miles of range to go 10 miles, not even halfway to the Car Wizards with an empty, very light aluminum trailer and the range is dropping that quickly. I gotta do two trips, not, not just one, two trips, but I will say this is a very, very comfortable, nice riding truck and not having any engine noise, anything at all, to where you can almost hear the normal environment around you. A little bit of tire noise and wind noise, but otherwise just completely silent. Of course, the sound of rain too, which may be hurting things some. But I don't think this truck is going to get anywhere close to getting the job done today. I mean, look at the mileage. Now we're at 167. It, it, it's dropping like a stone with an empty trailer. Well, I made it to Wizards with 132 miles remaining, so we are going almost double the range with an empty trailer. But now we're gonna load it up. So let's go inside, check on the car wizard, and see what my payload's gonna be. Some cool stuff, actually. <laughs> wizard! Hey, what's going on? I am EV towing. EV towing? The Lightning pickup truck is towing back the two Fords over there. How's it doing so far? Uh, it's not good. It's used over 70 miles to go here, which is about 35. So it's used twice the power. With an empty trailer. With an empty trailer. A aluminum trailer. Aluminum trailer. I shouldn't even feel it. It's like 1,400 pounds. That's the weird thing about the EVs, I think, with, with towing, is you lose so much range, more than a gas or diesel. Right, well, now it's really gonna feel it because of what we're loading up, so let's go take a look. My goodness, pickup trucks have grown, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that that one could fit in the bed of that one. Uh, probably. So these are both car issues cars. The first one, a 1930 Ford Model A, which I bought from Urination Bob. It is a very, very nice example. Uh, yes, we did do some things that I'm not going to reveal. These aren't all that heavy. It's only like 22, 2300 pounds. There's not much to them. No, obviously not. Just a little bit of wood, a little bit of iron. Very small little thing. Basically, with the trailer in this, it would be like towing, say, a medium-sized boat or something like that. So yeah. really some real-world testing. The Raptor, on the other hand, well, that bad boy's 
every bit of 6,000 pounds. It's a 2012 Ford Raptor. What's crazy about this one, 218,000 miles, and it's seen some stuff, let me tell you. I don't want to give away too much, obviously, since these are both car issues cars, and you just wait and see what we do with them, what happens to them, but uh, yeah, this one, uh, definitely a hoopty similar to the Border Patrol Raptor, and, uh, and you... <coughs> You're interrupting me? Did you want to point something out? No. Just wanted everybody to hear that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be the real test, unfortunately. Even though it does have a little bit of weight savings on this one, um, I still think we are in for quite a challenge. Yeah, right? Yeah, this is all... I think that this is not going to fit. I think it's going to hang over the tires, maybe, and slip off. These things are like seven feet wide. Well, is it my trailer seven feet wide? I think they're probably six feet wide. I guess we can measure. You got a measuring tape? Yeah. All right, put it at the outside of the tire. Uh oh, we're on the hip. Right down here. Yeah, put it on the outside of the tire. It is like seven feet, one or two inches. That's a wide boy. That's definitely wide. Well, let me go measure the trailer. So there's seven feet, one inches. Raptor won't fit. The trailer's just under seven feet in width. Just under seven feet? So this test is going absolutely terrible. The Raptor won't load. I could have put a different car in there, but I wanted to do Fords, but I guess the Model A will be a pretty good test, given how it's already doing with an empty trailer range-wise, so I'll load it up and I guess send somebody for the Raptor. Sounds good. Get out of your hair. Thanks, Wizard. Yep. Well, what a difference 100 years makes in Ford pickup trucks. Uh, not just in size, but in technology. So we do have a key, but it is a push button start. Then we advance the timing here. Here's your hand throttle and your foot throttle. See how it controls both there? Three speed manual. So cool. Not much of a range on this one either. Top speed about 50 miles an hour too. So anyway, let's see how the lightning handles this. Well, range anxiety aside, I have never experienced towing like this before. It is so effortless. Now with, well, 3,700 pounds or so, I can't even feel it when I put the pedal down. With the instant torque, this is fantastic for towing in that sense. People say all the time in a truck set up to tow that it doesn't feel like a trailer is even back there, but in this sense, it really, truly doesn't. I'm impressed, but it barely squatted down as well, so. Fantastic tow vehicle, range-wise, uh, we've gone about a mile and it's down four? Almost halfway into the journey and I am going the absolute speed limit the entire time. We started with 133, I think we're down to 82 to go 17 miles. I'm no math whiz, but that's more than double, right? More than double. What a turd! All right, pulling into my neighborhood, and we got the driving range low warning. <laughs> 50 miles remaining. Are you kidding me? That's almost 90 miles of range in 30 miles? Are you serious? That's nuts! <laughs> what a joke! So yeah, that was abysmally bad, and if the future is electric, there has to be some kind of solution for this. I have no idea why EVs tow so bad. My guess would be it doesn't have a normal transmission where there's gears and a car's in a lower rev range, but still pulling. That's why the gas mileage isn't so dramatically different, two or three times different versus an EV where it's just a drive motor working harder and harder and harder. And when you're towing something with bad aerodynamics, it makes such a huge difference. That would be my guess. The solution I have no idea, but if a truck towing 3,500 pounds can't even go 100 miles, in this case with a light load, maybe 70, 80 miles max, that is ridiculously stupid. This truck can't do normal truck things. You would be stopping every hour to recharge, which would take about 45 minutes a pop, 
and that is absolutely not practical. So the F-150 Lightning is more like a truck that most people use their trucks for, just to get around A to B, not really using it to do truck things. They just want something big and comfortable, and it does great at that. But as far as doing truck things, well, so far, just with towing, uh, not good. But before we end this video, I wanted to give you a little preview to the third season of Car Issues, which we are filming right now. This is actually the last full film day of Car Issues, and we have half the cars in the driveway where we go in my garage, and I decide if I'm going to keep or flip them. So let me give you a little tour of the cars currently in the driveway. Yeah, this is the end of the line for Car Issues Season 3, our last full shoot day, and that's why all the cars are in the driveway. The Model A is part of it, bought from Urination Bob, but also a Hummer H3 from 2006, and these things are awesome. This one's especially cool because it is the manual transmission. I was so impressed with this thing, I can't wait for you guys to see it. Uh, there's also a blast from the past here, a 95 C36 AMG, and yes, this is my old car from uh, five years ago when it comes to YouTube. Bought it out in San Francisco, took it to Monterey Car Week, slept in a garden shed. It's the same car, it was also at the original Radwood. I bought it from one of the founders of Radwood, sold it to a friend of mine, he drove it for many years, and now I've bought it back for the show very cheaply, but it has held together pretty darn well. Still nice inside, paint's faded a little bit more, a few new scratches, but it still does the job. We also have this K5 Blazer in root beer brown. Looks like it belongs on the set of Stranger Things, needs a light bar on top so it can be like the sheriff's truck or hoppers, you know, but a beautiful interior on this one. Showing only 60,000 miles. I was told this is a one owner car, so probably accurate, a 305 in this thing as well. But what's inside, well, you have to see what's inside. We filmed the last five cars about a month ago with Car Trek in between, so it has been a bit of a marathon, but they are taking their time on this one. And wait until you see this. They're getting beauties right now of it. I think you're a little out of focus. Do you want to do it? Do you want to do this? Do you want to hold the camera? <laughs> Thank you for watching.